It was not just the human population that was hard hit by the tsunami. Among the other species that suffered were the turtles that nested along the Sri Lankan coastline. In our next story, we take a look at one community's efforts to help their animal friends. After a journey of hundreds of miles across the ocean, she has reached her destination, a nesting site on the beach of southern Sri Lanka. Turtles like this one lay dozens of eggs, but only a small percent will survive. Today, the battle to save the species from extinction continues in Koskoda. It is a project that Chandrasiri embarked on 25 years ago, ensuring that the eggs are collected and safeguarded until the hatchlings are ready to be released into the ocean. We have released about 2.5 million small turtles into the sea from this turtle hatchery by our 25th anniversary. This was the time when the tsunami struck. There were about 20,000 turtle eggs buried in the sand at that time. There were massive tanks here. Badly damaged by the tsunami, the hatchery lost important equipment, resources and tanks. But more importantly, its main source of funding, tourists. Chandrasiri now had to face the task of rebuilding and rehabilitation. Fortunately, it was a task that others in the village also wanted to support. When the tsunami struck, the entire village was destroyed. The environment was also damaged. The children in the village helped me a lot. The beach was polluted. It took about a week for the villagers to clear the rubble out of this hatchery. We had to bring doses and lorries to clear out the damaged buildings. Chandasiri was supported in various ways by environmentalists and conservationists who helped him obtain the material and equipment he needed. Cement, netting, hose pipes and a water pump. As a result, Chandra Siri was back in business with plans to enhance his conservation effort even more. In this tank, we have a disabled turtle. During the tsunami, when nylon nets had been washed away into the sea, the turtle had got entangled in them, which had injured it. We found this turtle in the Ambalangoda beach. We have brought him here for treatment. This turtle can't swim. He cannot go underwater. I want to help such creatures. That is my intention now. We bring in turtles that are injured from any part of Sri Lanka and treat them. Treating them is what I want to do here. Sri Lanka is home to five species of turtle, the leatherback, the olive ridley, the loggerhead, the hawksbill and the green, and all five are endangered. Conservationists have been attempting to protect these species from extinction for decades, battling against fishermen who exploit turtles for their meat and eggs. In addition, turtle populations have been diminishing due to the destruction of coral reefs and marine pollution. Rebuilding the hatchery may be closely linked to Chandrasiri's own recovery from the tsunami. However, the local community as well as conservationists know that they must all take responsibility for safeguarding the unique environment of Koskoda as one of the world's important turtle landing sites. Thanks to their efforts, a new generation of turtles get a second chance as they embark on their journey 
in the waters of the Indian Ocean. There is much to be said about working together for a better future. And we hope that you'll join us next time as we bring you more stories about successful partnerships forged in the wake of the Asian tsunami. Till then, goodbye.